Hello, welcome to my shop. Today we have instruments of sound healing. It's very relaxing. We do have Tibetan bowls, crystal bowls, tingsha bells, tuning forks, and a frame drum. So, you know, sometimes life can be stressful and it's nice to have sounds in the world, such as instruments or the sea, the birds, to relax ourselves and to find a state of inner calm and peace. So today I want to show you my collection of instruments and I wanted to start with Tibetan bowl. I have started my journey with this little Tibetan bowl. It was offered by my mom and it's actually made of different metals such as tin and copper. So let's hear the sound. was my first instrument I got. And then I wanted to try different things. So I got some tingsha bells. They're really used in the in meditation. At the beginning of each meditation, someone can just hit them like this. And it will put you into a relaxed mode. It's very high in pitch. Let's hear one more time. relaxing, right? So I started my journey in 2017. I went to a workshop in London and I discovered crystal singing bowls. They are made of quartz and I fell in love with them because they are quite magical. When you look at them, they are made of quartz and they're, in some ways, I just feel like they are angelic. So, let me just hit one for you. It doesn't work that way. This is how crystal balls work. You need to give them the space so that the sound resonates and vibrates. When the sound vibrates, it helps you slow down with your mind and your heart rate. We have brain waves and sounds can actually lower their frequency so that our brain activity goes down and we step into relaxation. When you're very stressed or very, very attentive because there are a lot of things going on, for example, when you, when you drive your car or when you are on your broom, you're very attentive. 
you're very, very, you pay attention to everything that is around you. So your brain activity is very high. But when you are in a state of relaxation, it goes down. And this is when you reset, when your body rests. So maybe you will go a little bit onto that state of relaxation with that crystal ball. And please don't be on your broom and drive on it if you listen to this sound because you might not be paying attention like you should. I also have tuning forks. Some people use them to clean their chakras because each tuning fork is connected to a specific note and a specific chakra. You don't have to believe in chakras to benefit um, from the relaxation of those tuning forks. If you have a scientific mind, then just think in terms of brain waves. You've got a sound that will lower your brain activity and then you will feel more relaxed. If you're more into spiritual stuff, you can actually think that each uh, tuning fork will be for a specific chakra. So I have a collection of tuning forks. This is a C. And this is a D. Yes, I do have a little red thing to hit the tuning fork like this. It vibrates and creates a sound. So, the bigger the tuning fork, the lower the sound. The higher, sorry, the smaller the tuning fork, the higher the sound. You 
can also play them together. So we have an E with a C. Let's add a third one. What about a G? And if you're interested in chakras, you need to know that oopsie, the C is actually connected to the lower chakra. So as you go C, D, E, F, G, you also will go up until your last chakra. And I believe the last chakra is a B. The last note of the scale. Do I have a B? I do. It's this one. And you can connect to the energy center of your body. So you can clean your crown chakra or activate it. But all tuning forks will be relaxing despite of their characteristics or the sound. And I think it's just a matter of taste. Maybe you prefer the lower sound, the lower sound. Or a higher sound. What do you prefer? Let me know. They're amazing, right? I love those tuning forks. But I have another instrument to show you. Something that mix a louder sound but something that can put you in a trance mode this is a frame a frame drum it's also connected to sound healing and to the relaxing instruments we have
those instruments can really relax you but you have one instrument that you don't need to buy that you always have with you no matter what and that instrument is your voice singing is actually very relaxing for the body it's like a massage because the sound will vibrate everywhere and you will also with your own sound relax your brain lower your heart rate and it can help you release some emotions that are a little bit stuck so if you're not very comfortable with singing you can start with humming such as this We sometimes hum in the bus or when we take a walk without really um, be aware because it's natural to us. Sometimes when we are happy, we're like, mm -hmm. and that helps the body to relax a lot. So, what I like doing is playing the drum or the crystal ball and singing alone and I think it's a very nice way to use your voice and to feel like you've got some company because when you sing on your own you can feel a bit uncomfortable with the sound of your voice as you only hear the sound of your voice but if you add an instrument then suddenly magic happens and you feel like transported to another world so I'd like to invite you for a little sound bath, which is an immersion of sounds and you can sing along with me if you want. If you want to hum or to sing the way you want to sing, you're free to sing because you are invited to do so.
So let me know what do you prefer The Tibetan ball The Dingshu bells The crystal singing ball The frame drum Tuning forks Or humming Do you want to see and hear the crystal singing ball again? With this one, you can also sing along. relaxing for you and that you found your instrument maybe you found your voice and you start singing I'll be happy to know what you prefer and what you've enjoyed the most okay so have a relaxing day or night evening wherever you are in the world see you soon <laughs>